Thanks for joining Friends Test Kitchen. Today we are gonna make something so good. The cooler weather is upon us, and when I think cooler weather, I think comfort food, and when I think comfort food, I think chicken pot pie. We are making a chicken bacon mushroom pot pie from Nigella, and I would consider it a more elegant version of our traditional chicken pot pie, just like Nigella. So we're gonna try to be elegant today, but cozy. It's just chicken, mushrooms, and bacon. I like the sound of that. It smells good. It's a lot of bacon grease for sure. So we're not supposed to get rid of any of that. So a little concerning. I know, this is one of the things that I prefer not to see that goes into my meal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna add in my mushrooms. Yeah, needs a bath in the bacon fat. There's no salt and no black pepper in the recipe. Um, maybe the bacon is the salt, but black pepper would be nice, but I, we won't. Or are you? Okay. <laughs> Butter. What other fat is missing from this? <laughs> it dried up. We need reinforcements. Okay. So she has in there that she makes garlic oil, but if you don't have time or the patience, just go ahead and add a little bit more olive oil and a little garlic. The next step is the star of the show, which is our chicken. So we just took some chicken thighs and cut it up into one inch pieces. Um, and now we're going to put them in a bag with some flour and some thyme. You put your chicken into your flour. So we're gonna shake the chicken pieces in the flour and in the thyme. And now we're gonna put in our chicken stock. And then we're gonna follow that up with a tablespoon of marsala. So I thought I had Marcella. I really, really did. I like even saw it in my mind. And then of course, I did not. But as a substitute, it says you can use sherry or even red wine vinegar and a couple other things. But I did have some sherry on hand and we only need a tablespoon, so I'm hoping it just doesn't ruin it. All right, puff pastry, my favorite. Well, I'm making my pies in this. I don't know if that's the right size, but it seems like a good single person size. But I am also using a ramekin, but the, mines are like not small. They're just, right? <laughs> They're, they fit my palm. Yeah, same, but yours just looks bigger for some 16 reason. ounce, it says on the bottom, what's your say? My size from China. <laughs> Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, so just scoop it in and cover. So I used to watch Nigella on Food Network, but I didn't cook anything she made. It was more of like, she has such a beautiful accent and a lovely way of talking about her food and how she presented food. It was just like fun to watch. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes and um, we'll see you guys right back. How does yours look? Um, so mine did poof. Quite nicely. Did yours poof magnificently? Not like yours. Where is yours? Your got like a pretty dome. Yeah, and then oh, this is a flat one. My poofies are over there. <laughs> I'm saving it for my husband. I'm a nice wife. Aww. Ooh, steam. Okay, breaking Ooh. into the poof. It's a big air pocket. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I added salt and pep black pepper to mine. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. And I'm so glad I did because it's the perfect saltiness. No, you don't know. It could have been just fine without it. 
Well, I did not add salt or pepper or anything else. I think it tastes wonderful. There is a pool of oil in mine from all that bacon grease and that butter and the olive oil. You were saying there was so much bacon grease, but I wasn't getting that. I was getting bacon grease, but not so much that I was like, oh my gosh, look at all this grease. So is it possible my bacon was less fatty than yours? Are you saying that my bacon's fat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will admit, so my first bite was of the mushroom and bacon and it was wonderful. And then my second bite I took was of the chicken, which tasted good. But I will advise, I think you should season your chicken, salt and pepper, before putting it in. And that will just make it just right, just as Kat said. This was so delicious, pretty easy to make. Questionable in terms of all the fat, but I don't think that when you're eating comfort food that that's like a big factor. You just want something nice and warm to just warm you up. So make sure you hit that bell and subscribe and we will see you guys again next week. Bye. The star of the show. Don't tell anyone. Turn it off. This is cooking. Let's cook it up. <laughs>